What is up, everybody? Waffles OMG here. Um, I know I seemed a little more energized than usual. Um, I am doing one last video before I go on my break because you guys, you guys know I got I had surgery done on me, so uh, I'm going on a little break. So this is my last video and for like two weeks probably. So yeah, and I I I worked really hard for this last video. I made my very own custom. Deadpool minifigure. Sorry, there are Legos behind the set. And I made this all by myself. Paint and everything. I know it's not... Oops, it's, I didn't get that part. Why? I'm sorry I didn't get that part, but I made all this by myself within like an hour probably. I think I did very good. I did, oh, oops. I, thought, I, I think I did very good on it. Um, uh, Let's just start with the head. So, so the head is just a very basic head. Uh, I just took a Lego... I think it was a white Lego skeleton head and painted it all red. I did three layers for the whole body. I did three layers of red, and then I did one, two layers of black, and then I did like the gray and stuff like that. But for this, I did the, I did the red, I did the black, and I did the eyes with white. Obviously, I used all acrylic paint for this. And then for the torso, I did black, and then for the back of the torso, I did something a little bit special. I went, so take this off. The heck won't come off. Got it on there tight. Wow. Come on. There we go. I did this basically. I don't know why I decided to do that. For the arms, I did shoulder pads. And, uh. Yeah. I did it. Um. I did shoulder pads for the arms. And, uh. Shoulder. Yeah, on that arm. And then. Let me just put this back on. I'll be, I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I'm back. And then for the legs, I just. I did these. These things down there just to, rep to represent his gun holsters. And I did actually make custom guns for him. And I'll show you all of his ex accessories in just one minute. Okay, so his first two accessories are, the, are his katanas. Like, you know, his katanas that he slices people up with. Um, I think they look really cool. I didn't do any special painting for them. I just used regular Lego, I think Ninjago, whenever these came out, katanas. Then I used this piece right here. I think it's from Prince of Persia or something, whatever. And then... I just put them in there like that. They look really nice, and I think there's really it's a really basic technique. They just look really cool. Um, now onto his next accessory. As every Deadpool fan knows, Deadpool is a badass. I mean, he has like these cool guns, and I, I made I made these really cool like big Uzis, like just giant machine guns. Cause I don't know, I just thought handguns was not enough to be Deadpool. So I, I custom made these giant handguns, and I'm just gonna show you how I made them real quick. Okay, guys, so this is how you transform this gun into this gun. I'm going to show you how. Okay, so what you want to do with this one, I'm not going to do it with this. Okay, so this is what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to cut off this top scope part right there. You want to cut that off. And so, and then you're going to want to cut off this, this, okay, so past this point, past like the trigger point, you're going to want to cut that off, cut off the scope, and then just leave it. And so you'll end up with something that, oops. You'll end up with something that looks like this. See? And then you're going to want to take a Lego um, minifigure hand, like this. Place it like, so it's facing outwards. And that's how you make Deadpool's machine guns. I'm just going to show you them in his hand right now. Alright, so that's Deadpool's big machine guns. And, uh... I'm going to show you the one last accessory that's based off of a really funny part in the movie. Alright, this is the last um, accessory that I have. It's from the movie. Um, it's one, like, he gets triggered and because he knows Van Vanessa's been kidnapped. Um, he gets this one gun um, from, from his blind roommate. And because he left all of, his uh, all of his guns in the duffel bag in the taxi. And so um, this is the one gun that he has on himself during that last fight. And this is what he uses to kill Francis. Or Ajax, whoever I, I call him Francis because it's just stu a stupid name. I mean, not a stupid name, but like, but like sort of a dorky name for a guy, Francis. Um, so he just he he just pulls it out. He just pulls it out. He's like, hmm, I'm gonna kill Francis now. And so this is just I don't know. It's just really I don't know. I just thought it was funny to make. I had it and I was like, oh, this looks like the little gun that he has to kill Francis. So uh, uh yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, guys. So uh, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this. Uh, oops, I really I need to do some more painting on it. He will appear in some videos as you, after I do more painting. 
Um, I really hope you enjoyed this um, video. I really hope um, you learned something about how to make guns and stuff. I don't know. Um, just This is my last video for uh, a while. Because I just need to rest and recover. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, that's pretty much it. Waffles OMG signing out. Hey, what's up? What's up? It's me. It's Deadpool. Now, I have one task for you. You need to subscribe to Waffles OMG. Or else, I'll come to your house while you're sleeping, and light you on fire. Okay? You got that? Capiche? Okay, just make sure you subscribe to him, okay? Just, 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 go, 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 shoot, 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 shoot.